In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to program your robot to use a bumper sensor. Connect the orange USB cable to your robot and the computer. Plug in a battery to your robot. Open EZC version 4 for Cortex. Click Open Project from the menu and then select Samples. There are many sample programs that you can use to make complex programs. You are looking for the bumper test folder. When you find it, double click and double click on the program. The sample program will help you test your bumper sensor. Below the variable box are instructions as to where to plug the bumper sensor into your robot. Plug your bumper sensor into digital input number 6 on your robot. Then connect the bumper sensor to the front of your robot. With your bumper sensor attached, press F7 on your keyboard to download the program. When the program downloads, the terminal window is opened and text scrolls across the screen. The text is showing you the value of the sensor. Press the sensor and see how the value changes. You can see from the terminal window that the value of the bumper pressed is 0 and the value of the bumper not pressed is 1. When you're finished, close the window and save this program to your folder. Next, I will show you how to use the sensor and the motors together. We'll modify the sample bumper test program, so if you haven't already done so, open the bumper test program. We're going to modify the bumper test program. Select project, select standalone project type, select autonomous only project, and then select OK. Now from the left, select program flow and select an if. Select the if and drag it underneath the bumper. We're now going to modify the if statement. Add a variable of a bumper, add an operator of a double equal sign, and type in the number 1. Now from the left, select outputs and drag in motor modules and place them within the if that will drive your robot forward. Now from the left, find an else and drag the else in below the if. Now from the left, select motor modules, place them within the else and make these motor modules stop. What you have done is you have created a program that if the bumper gives a value of 1, which is not pressed, the robot will drive forward or else the robot will stop. The bumper sensor is a variable in this program, and because the program is in a while loop, the program will repeat forever. When your program is ready, hit F7 and download the program to your computer. After the program downloads, place your robot on the floor and aim it at a wall. Hopefully when the robot hits the wall, your robot will stop. Troubleshoot the program as needed, and if you need help, see your teacher. The next part is to modify your program so that after the robot stops, it backs up, turns, and continues to drive straight. If you need to see your program, you can always zoom out. Drag in a weight that will have the motor's weight one second after it stops. Copy and paste motor values that will have your robot reverse, which are the opposite of it going forward. And then have your robot turn. When your program is ready, press F7 to download the program to the computer. Troubleshoot the program as needed, and if you need help, see your teacher.